Hey guys, Tim here with Two Feather Survival. I'm going to talk to you real briefly tonight about another use for your tool, your knife, uh, and how that relates to not only creation of other items, but also to creation of the most important thing in a survival situation that you will need to create, and that is the creation of fire. Stay with me. Well, creation of fire and creation of other tools are something that need to be high on our priority list. If I know how to create fire with the use of something like this, a strike force, which is nothing more than a fancy container with a ferrocinium rod contained therein and a striker built all in, so it is a one tool option for creating fire. Well, if I know how to utilize those type of resources, then I also need to take some sort of consideration and care into learning how it is that I want to create primitive fire methods, things like bow drills. Well, if I have some sort of a knife, I'm already a big step ahead of the game because now I can utilize that knife to create things like hearth boards, spindles, bows, anything it is for that type of primitive fire lighting system that I'm going to utilize. There's another important factor that we need to consider and that is the back spine of our knives. Have you taken the time, or maybe it's already done for you, depending on what type of knife that you have purchased, there's a couple things that you wanna look at. The back spine should be at a 90 degree angle. The reason why I want the spine at a 90 degree angle is that way I can shave off sparks from a ferrocinium rod, or if I'm gonna utilize flint with a good high carbon steel blade, which this one is, well now I can bring that blade down and get some good hot sparks from that flint material. There's another reason why I would want to have a 90 degree spine to the back of my blade and that is to create material like this. And I'll show you this here a little bit closer. This material is simply shaved off a whatever type of stick that I can find out in the woods, piece of piece of wood, down timber, whatever that is, as long as it's fairly dry and not super saturated, I can utilize the back of the spine of my knife to get these some very small curl shavings that is then going to become my basis for my fire lighting material. But if I have a good surface that I can utilize to make small tinder shavings with, That increases my chance of fire lighting with some type of a fire striker. And what I have here is actually the Strike Force fire lighting system. So here's an example of some of the small curl shavings that I've gotten off from that piece of wood. Now, this is going to be great to catch a spark from the Strike Force and get a fire lit very quickly, very easily, and very effectively. So guys, once I've got things like this small material all processed out and have utilized my tool to the best of my ability, it should make things like fire lighting a lot easier for us. And because of those small curls, a couple quick lights out of the strike force gets it burning. And now if I've done my good fire lay and gotten myself prepared, I have the rest of the solution already all ready to go. So now I have guaranteed that I have got fire that night. So things like a good strike force, ferrocidium rod, and a good tool, no matter who you decide to go with, guys, make sure that you practice with it. Make sure that you understand how these tools can assist you in a wilderness survival setting. That's all I've got time for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip, quick discussion from Two Feather Survival. Have a good night, and I'll try to see you tomorrow. See you then, guys.